All right, so this is Rion's birthday part two. And I plan to start this exactly where we left off, but apparently some people have gotten hung up in the multiverse somewhere. So we're gonna we're gonna send the call out to everybody and hopefully they all make it back alive. Yes, welcome to the power hour. I'm Steve. Uh joining us tonight are some special guests. Uh we've got Turtle from the JFW podcast, uh, plus a a, a great wrestler in his own right. He was on the show last week when things went to hell in a handcart. So Turtle's come back. Hello, Turtle. Hello, Steve. Hello, everybody. Good to be here again. And that is, a, that is a legitimate steering wheel that the go to, the go to Menendez has his video <laughs> device inside his steering wheel. So this is Goat's car cam. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the third week in the row the Goat has been here. So hello, Goat. Just be careful driving, okay? Yes. Hi, everybody. And yeah, I'm, I'm mainly staring at the road. I'm speaking down at your lovely faces every now and then. But for the most part, I'll be staring at the road. And that is a legitimate steering wheel, as you can see it coming in and out of the uh, the uh, technical wonderland that the goat provides always. And of course, last but certainly not least, I'm going to give you all a moment to just take in what is on this screen. The one, the only, because there's nobody else that can do it quite like she does it. It's Euro Thrash. Hello, Euro. Hello, Steve. I first need to tell you that for this bout, I am not Euro Thrash. I am Euro Okay, so when I speak to you tonight, I will not call you Euro Thrash. I'll call you Euro Thrash. I, oh, I don't. I don't know. I I don't think your uh, audio equipment could capture your barbaric yelp there. I could so. be very barbaric if need be. Uh, like okay. I said, I talk for a living. So if I need oh, to get no. tur turtle, knows it can happen. Oh, I know yeah. you can do it. I'm saying it is it's so much that maybe your audio couldn't even handle it. That's you, what I'm saying. You might be right about that. Um, let's start with last week. Uh, some things as I watched the what once the once the video was salvaged and I got a chance to sit back and watch it. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I had a good time. Um, the moment of the night that not only provided the biggest holy shit moment, but also from people that have watched it and talked to me was uh, the involvement of judgment Dave impersonating you. Yep. Um, we talked about Rion uh, impressions last week. I, I don't think there's anybody that should have the testicular fortitude to try to emulate Euro thrash, but boy, Dave is as close to accurate as I think I, I I would anyone would dare to go. And I think because of your relationship, he's the only one that would dare to try it because I think humans would die if they did it just randomly. This is very true. You know, um uh I you know, in 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 CKO canon, of course, Judgment and Dave and I are not Judgment Dave and Euro Thrash are not involved, right? But in our civilian lives, we are married. Uh, in your civilian lives, <laughs> when you're not at the front, <laughs> because marriage no. is in fact a goddamn war. It's true, right? <laughs> right. Um, but I can tell you true story of civilian life wooing that is actually very barbarian, and this will tell you something about Judgment Dave. Um, so back in the day, I used to skate for another derby league. I'm not going to talk about their names, but you know, this starts with W. Um, and uh, Judgment Dave was working there. That's actually how we met in the early 2000s. Don't do the math. I am eternal, not old. Um, and after party was at Bottom Lounge. And one thing I like to do is drink lots of whiskey, then challenge the men's to arm wrestling. Um, and I had secrets for winning always. What I do is they're like, ha, 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 I'm going to beat this person. I would take their hand, you know, obviously size up. We go, we go, we go, we go, we go. And uh, they're thinking they're going to win. Then jump up, headbutt. And they're so shocked. Bam! I win. All the time. Every time. Works, you know? All right. Uh, because they're not expecting that. Well, one time I tried this with Judgment Dave. <laughs> okay, so we're going, we're going, we're going. And here I go, I'm about to pull it. And slam! And he not faced. He just goes, what the? 
And I'm like, okay, clearly I did not do it hard enough. So I do it again. Where? And it's like, what? Well, can you just not? Where? Seven times. The man keeps going. I know now, A, this man is partially Scottish like me, have Scottish forehead. Two, I know he is meant for me. And the rest is history. This summer would be 15 years. 15 years, if not a day. Well, that is the most amazing love story I've ever heard. It was love at, it was love at seventh headbutt. Mm -hmm. That to me is the greatest love story. Screw the notebook. Fuck the notebook. <laughs> this is much better. <laughs> that's, that's the most incredible thing. I, I am so happy that I know that story now because I will recount that story as my favorite love song. As a matter of fact, I think we could make a Netflix series about that because you can make a Netflix series about anything and it'll work and people will binge watch that shit. It's just the way the world is now. Yeah. Uh, however, you have made you you have now thrown the gauntlet down because now at the after party this Saturday, I want to have whiskey and arm wrestle you. Because I, I, I feel like that that has to happen and I, I have to be a part of it. Now I'm okay. not marrying you because I could probably take eight or nine of them. But I'm just yes. saying, out of principle, for principle's sake, I'm I'm all about it. Okay, Steve, it's on. It's on. All right, so now Rion Skills, the birthday boy, is here. Hello, Rion. Rion is somewhere else. Uh, he will be listening, maybe not talking, but he's he's around. And uh, now joining the feed is our extra special co-host. Um, got um, you're there. You're there, Rion. Yeah. I couldn't hear. I am. I'm driving. Sorry. I'm I'm driving. Are you and Goat drag racing? Because yep. Goat is also driving. And I know yep. Goat's driving because I can see the steering wheel. That's because we have shit to do, Steve. It's, we're constantly doing stuff. <laughs> I, I often feel like I have That's no just... shit to do, which is why I'm here. Um, And joining us once again, he has now found his way here from his multiverse portal. It is the one, the holiday, the one the only, the holiday, I mean, I, I don't know what that means exactly. The bearded bruiser, Max Holiday. Well, Max, I just say thank you in advance for showing up two weeks in a row. Uh, I feel like you're doing hero's work. You know, I um, completely forgot about this. <laughs> I was literally about to walk out the door to go to dinner. And, well. well you satisfied. You, you showed up. You're here. If you need to go to dinner, I, I certainly do not want to be responsible for no, you. No, 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 no. I've ordered out. I've ordered out. You Food's can coming take here now. the Zoom call with you to dinner. Nah, nah. That's, <laughs> I'm I'm not taking the laptop and my phone and the microphone. I'm not going to do all that. Okay. Fair. And where, where, where did we order from? Just just kind of kind of fill us in on your, your culinary delights for the evening. So... Over the weekend, I kind of blew my voice out again from uh, Bruce City Wrestling. So tonight, uh, in hopes of helping heal that, uh, we're having some Woo's ramen. I'll be having a spicy beef ramen. That's a I'm pretty kind impressive of little dish there. Yeah, I'm kind of excited because, um, one, it's delicious, and two, uh, hopefully it has magical healing powers. You're expecting some sort of magic elixir to happen, which, you know, ramen yeah. can do. Ramen just makes everybody feel good. It's a comfort food. Last week, you got cooked for, and that looked amazing. Oh, yes. The the steak with the mashed potatoes and the broccoli that my daughter prepared, it was, oh, it was delicious, actually. Thank you for reminding me of that. See, we do hot dogs in my house way more than we should. So when people say, how about a hot dog and a handshake, I can appreciate that. Or, I appreciate that more than most. You know, but, speaking of hot dogs and handshakes, I really miss the galley dogs. Did you ever have a galley dog? Probably not. Remember, I, I'm I'm enhancement talent, so I don't get out there as much as most. I don't know if they still do it, but galley dogs were more or less just hot dogs wrapped in bacon. Well, and they and they were delicious because you know they were free at the end of the show. Like kind of like a pig in a blanket or something like that, right? With bacon instead of uh, pastry. Sure. Yeah, you can say that. It's Absolutely. pig and a pig or pig and a poke. No, that was vacation. That can't, we can't use that. But, you know, it's still a very interesting. And there's your ramen noodles. So now 
been featured by Rion Skills. I think yours are going to be a little better than that. Mine will be better than that for sure. So wait, is this going to be another tribute birthday episode for Rian and he's well the not... plan was what what I'm telling uh, people is you know we we had a a timeline situation and I have spent all week trimming the branches and you are all variants and we are gonna write the ship <laughs> some way so I don't know if you're the max holiday I know or you could very well be be using you could very well be wearing blue pants which would make you a whole other Max Holiday in a whole other universe. I mean, look at Euro Thrash. This is not Euro Thrash that we had last week. This is Euro <laughs> Thrash. Now, you will have to watch the first part of the show to realize why I did what I did, because that actually makes sense. But to you, you're like, why is that idiot fucking screaming? So this is not the BDSM one from last week. No, this is not not at the moment. I, I'm not okay. saying that after she's had some dragon's blood, we can't get there. I mean, we every every destination has a starting point. So tonight, after many many hours of trimming branches, we are starting. And obviously, we trim we we trimmed a few too many because we have about half the volume at least at the moment. But I think people will trickle on uh, as the time goes on as we get into. Uh, what we're doing tonight and tonight not only are we celebrating uh rian's birthday uh last week we stopped right as ricky ricochet was about to give rian some uh of her famous predictions so when she gets here she will command the stage because i want to hear what her predictions are for rian's skills because i'm going to write them all down and i want to see if they come true maybe she's a witch or a wizard or something that we don't even know I mean, she's already a ghost, but maybe she's like a witch ghost. I mean, there's a lot of cool shit happening. I missed the multiverse memo because as I was logging in, I was kind of really hoping that it was going to be the same setup. Everyone was going to be here. and We were literally going to pick up from the moment she was ready to tell that story. Yes. And that, was, that was the plan. Yeah. Okay. The plan. It might still be at work. She might still be at work. <laughs> so the plan is... The, the plan is good because for those of us that have seen Deadpool and Wolverine, nothing is as it seems. Nothing is as it seems. And uh, we all have delightful cinnamon rings, but that's another story for another time. <laughs> Max, hopefully you saw it and got that reference because I, that was, that was, that was well-placed. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. It was delightful no. though. Uh, so Rion, usually uh, when he's driving, he might be in route here. Uh, I think he knows that he has birthday cupcakes that I've been saving. Now, the birthday cupcakes are a week old, but when it comes to time and travel, fresh out of the oven, baby. I mean, those sit on the on the shelf at the, at the Jewel or wherever you got them from for <laughs> weeks on end. I'm sure they'll be fine. No, these are brought to you by the good folks at Marvel. Where'd you buy them from? Uh, Asgard. Marvel? No, I, I, I don't That's, know. I, that is, wow. <laughs> I, I, I took the trek up the Rainbow Bridge for these motherfuckers. Where do you think I got those colorful sprinkles? That's neither here nor there. So how are we doing this pa panel? How are we tonight? Are we feeling good? Because last week at the end, I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to have a heart attack live on the air when, when everything went sideways and the computer stopped and shut me down completely. I've never had that happen. I've been doing this for three and a half years. I didn't even know what the fuck was Steven, happening. Steven, do you know how many times man has said, I've never had this happen before. Yes. <laughs> I, this is not the first time I've said that either, but that's that's a story for another show. Uh, Max has no idea what that means. Max delivers challenge, the, challenge wherever he is, whenever he <laughs> is. If you've seen Max's TikToks, you know he's the last real man on earth. Oh, that's, oh, you're sweet. You and C-Red are strong in the TikTok. Strong. I like the C Where Red is C-Red? He, okay, so C-Red is not here. We trimmed his branch a little <laughs> too short. And, and you thought God trimmed it a little too short, but no, no, we did it. Uh, actually, his wife is having surgery. So Red okay. is in the hospital with her. So he gets a hall pass tonight uh, because, you know. Acceptable. He is doing what he needs to do, being the great guy that he is. Um, but his TikToks, boy, when he goes shirtless and is lip syncing those, those R and B dusties from the eighties and nineties, that is spun fucking gold. Ooh, I'm going to go duet some. 
I think you should, because that would be, that's the most masculine thing that would be featured on TikTok at this point, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. I might, I might do that from the boat. That'll be great. Uh, if you do it, we are playing it on this show next week. Next week on this show, we will play the Max Holiday Sea Red duets. So, Rian, how are you? Rian's driving, so he'll answer sporadically. We want to know I how he's you doing. No, you wouldn't even let me answer, Steve. You, you know what? I'm, I'm great. I'm great. Um, apologies for last week's fiasco, but did you at least get a sense that you were beloved by by humans? If you give me roughly two minutes, I will gladly answer that. Okay, well, I'll give you three minutes because you know we got we got all kinds of minutes tonight because my computer is free of any kind of STD. It has had its shots. We are we are good to go tonight. Steve, Steve, what you are doing to computer? That is that is for me to know and you to never find out. So that's we're gonna keep that on the down low. Uh, you know, you have to stop we're, clicking. we're part of Freaknet Studio, so what would you expect? Right, Turtle? Stop click. Stop clicking on the links on when you're on your those porn sites. Hey, yeah, AI's gotten pretty sophisticated. There is there's a math problem behind porn, isn't there? I mean, there, there's got to be something quantifiable. A lot of porn is just math. Okay, you remember, you know the the, the founding sort of hey, principle behind quantum physics. Now you did it, Steve. It's, it's, a, it's a double slit experiment, right? That's what that's what fostered the whole study of quantum physics was something called the double slit experiment which is the title of my adult film about um how like there's a lack of diversity in stem so we're going to get into that one day i mean i'm sorry did you say the double slit yes <laughs> it's called it or in other some people call it the experiment with two holes like you will see it written that way in multiple books i'm like really there's a fucking theorem called the harry ball theorem like it's a mathematical theorem about how how um certain like what is it? It's certain vector fields around a sphere they can't be combed like hair. I think is what it is. I have to look it up. But anyway, Stephen Hawking had something to do with that. And I think he turned out to be a pretty fucking pretty awful creep, if I'm not mistaken. So discussion for another day. But anyway, hair <laughs> yeah, on so, ball. There's theory. a lot of porn in, in all of those fields. Or a lot of math in porn. I mean, do you have to get a special comb to call your ball to, to comb your ball hair? I don't know how that even what kind of what kind of I don't even know how that would work. Yeah, I mean, well, are, we're gonna we're gonna make problems about it and write hey, a whole book about it. Don't go away. My my family locked the door, so now Rian can't get in. We are not having <laughs> a spatial timer. That is racist. I, I have people that don't live <laughs> yeah. in my life. That's like all that it is. Tiny racism is acceptable, right? Tiny bit. I'm just here. Just a little bit. As a dancing monkey that pulls the sled. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. And you thought the branches were getting cut again, right? Do, 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 do. Come on, dance, monk. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, anyway. my God. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Rion Skills, the man of the hour. And finally, the cupcakes for you, sir. There you go. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. No, it's not, that's not his birthday. It's your birthday. It was your birthday. But technically, because we had we our time stopped, it's still your birthday. So we are we are in the past, heading to the future. All right, Steve. What's your plan today? <laughs> What's my plan, Rian? There's no plan. We just are here. We we're talking about what, Harry Ball. Yeah, I, I put the misfit. There. Yeah, we were talking oh, about man. Max was, you, talk, Max was talking about. Wait, you watch Ball. this. Wait, you watch this playback on this transition oh, no, of Rian I saw, showing I heard up. The monkey joke. I heard it. I 100 heard it. So it's okay. It's totally <laughs> fine. I, I hope someone clips. That was that. That was all, Steve. That's fine. What do you do? Well, people blame you. For Wait, you watched the playback. <laughs> I didn't talk about clipping any monkeys. No, but oh, it's okay. No, let's just. I'm just saying. Wait, you <laughs> watched it later. You're making this uncomfortable. 
I'm making you on. Okay, well, we'll move on. We'll move right no, on. No, this. You're making this uncomfortable. I'm That's making this. Not for me. <laughs> I know. I know. I'd like you to feast your eyes on Euro. That, Bro, I, I saw when the first happened. That's it's not. This is not the first time I've seen her in this look. This actually was at a feast of the, the goat queen. Uh, this this past summer, actually. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I, I, you guys look like you and uh, and Marley were on a stage at the feast of the goat queen. Were you doing karaoke or were you having beheadings? No, no, no. Um, that's halftime at the next bout will be the beheadings. But we were talking about the next bout. We were doing some like cross publicity there, you know, just announcing to the crowd what it was all about, um, you know, and just kind of giving them a feel. So like there are, I mean, do you want me to go into, I, I don't know what your plan is. I can start talking about this or we can wait or we can just oh, talk. No, about let's the let's just fucking dive right ball. in. I don't know. What we can talk if you want to talk about hairy balls. I mean, we we can do that. But no, we can talk right about just we can, just, mask is gone. We can let's talk about what you talked about at the feast of the goat queen as it pertains to this Saturday in Homewood, the triumphant return of the Chicago knockouts. Maybe not exactly as you've seen them before, because this is this has got some mystical stuff going on. Why don't you tell us what we're doing? Okay, so first of all, um, is the 24th, right? Yeah. Um, so for all my Dungeons and Dragons nerds, please wear separate extra sets of underwear because you're going to pee yourself, okay, when you're there because it's going to be warriors, wheels and warriors, okay? So it's going to be two teams, uh, brutal fo brute force versus fatal attraction, F-A-E, get it? So it's going to be us barbarians crushing those little fairy, little frou fru 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 magician's assistants um, and just basically smearing them all over the track because they think they can step to us, okay? Um, costumes are very, very, very much uh, appreciated in the audience and encouraged. In fact, I think during halftime, aside from beheading, we may also be having costume contests. So see who brings the best red fair vibe. Uh, that is, uh, or who incredible. is the most brutal warrior in the audience. Those of you who have been to uh, one of our bouts before, you know, we like to tussle, we like to scrap, we like to get into the fisticuffs. Um, I'm going to tell you that this bout is the brawlingest ever. This bout is going to have an actual fatality at some point. Rihanna, you Someone die? will die. Rihanna. Like, legit. Someone's going to die. Someone's I mean, I don't know if we can die. advertise that. That I think the police would get involved. The police are literally right next door. That's not true. Yes. Marvel. No, they're all down. Uh, they're down at the DNC. They're not around here, so don't. Worry that's about fair. It. That's 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 a fair mm -hmm. statement. You're right. You're right about that. Yes. So there's going to be a fatality. There's going to be violence more so than usual. There's usually a whole lot of violence that happens at these bouts anyway. Um, how do you? But, how but Steve, this? Steve, not to cut you off. No, nope. but we Please. have also been training. With the wrestlers, one of whom is sitting directly next to you, you. Um, at practice, two subsequent Sundays, we are in dojo with wrestlers learning how to really murder each other, okay? So um, these gentlemen have been absolutely instrumental in our technique and helping us sort of fine tune the slaughter, the slaughter ballet that you will witness on the 24th okay Rian I just want to say I thank you from my heart for showing me more artful ways to inflict pain on my enemies you're welcome this this tiger's blood for you my friend yeah. cheers thank, thank I'll, I'll I'll drink this you can drink your phone it's all right you can drink your phone if you want to um that, that's crazy that's you've fun. been teaching them you've been you've been teaching them like the art of Christian law. You have no idea. I took a cross uh, face. I took a cross face over the summer. <laughs> from out, you know, out that's a whole out. You know what? I'll talk to you during Dutch babies about some of the stuff that has happened. Because we haven't sat down yet. But yeah. I'm yeah. sitting. 
Rion is a uh, institution when it comes to the Chicago knockouts. And Max has his ramen. How is it, Max? I don't know. I haven't tasted it yet. Well, let's let's go. Let's. I'm, I'm, we're gonna all gonna watch you oh, eat. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Can you get this? Damn it! Damn it! Doesn't work. Okay, sorry. It only picks me up. I enjoy the graphic because uh, that's Max and Rion. The morning after coming soon on X, which will be a joy when that show returns to uh, the live mainstream social media. Yeah, that'll be great. Can't wait. Maybe the only one that knows what you're talking about at this point. Oh, Here I think you know. now I can show you. Whoa, they're delish. Oh, look at that. Mm. That's the whole thing right there. Yeah, that is not what I'll be eating for dinner. I will be eating something far less quality, probably far less enjoyable. But that's neither here nor there. Well, um, Steve, will that be taking place in an alley or in your dining room? Well, I, I, I you know, there aren't many alleys oh where I'm at right now, but, you know, I could I could go find one. I mean, there's I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. I try to stay out of the alleys. Bad things happen to me in alleys. People like to hit me with things, and it's it, it, you got to watch out. You got to watch out. My Do you back remember the alley? Yeah, I do. I do. love that place, man. They're trying to sell it now. Yes, they are. That checks out. Like the owner is going to retire and he wants to sell the whole business off to somebody and hopefully somebody will pick it up and uh, keep the, keep it going. Turtle, why don't you buy the alley? Um, I don't have the money. I respect that. <laughs> I, 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 I do too. At least yeah. you're honest. I, I just wanted to see if Turtle was awake. I just oh, he, he's very much awake. I respect that. I respect that answer. That, that's solid. That's solid. Uh, so here we are as we're talking, and somebody who left. See you. Is that you that left? <laughs> no, no, I'm still here. Who did I lose? That was that was goat. Goat. Goat's gone. Well, maybe goat. Goat stop goat, driving. Goat's driving. Hopefully yeah. he's okay. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully that. He's fine. He's fine. We're we're good. We feel got a lot of confidence in the goat. Um. So. The knockouts have been off for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, the last bout, what that was the the uh, after hours bout, right? Eighteen and over, yes. That was the eighteen and over show. Saw things at that show that I never thought I would see, like doing commentary with a drag queen, like a legit drag queen who was beautiful. I'm just saying, it was she was pretty impressive. She was. And there at the halftime show, there was a burlesque pole situation right in the middle of the auditorium. I'm still thinking that Homewood doesn't know what happened. Well, I, I didn't know what was happening because I was outside. I was doing the door. I was doing security. So I saw the last 20 minutes. And what was her name? Who oh, the, the drag queen? I don't know. Whoever he was doing. What was he doing? What were you doing? I wasn't no, see he's being funny. To me no, or just, to you? Just I... ignore him. Just ignore him. I have to do it all the time. Because he'll he'll hear what he wants to. He's like me. You guys just gotta just just ignore it. Just eat your food. Just eat your food, and we can go from there. Someone's coming in. Goat's oh, coming back. Goat's back. The goat's returning. Let's take a look and see if there's anybody that's, that's I, it's giving us any updates. I'm just, I, you know, I, we're trying to. See, okay, so. If, if you had a plan. I, I told you this morning I have no plan. I, I, I often not have a plan. I because the stuff. I had a damn near literal heart attack last week over this. Oh, man, it was bad. It was bad. But it was going so well at the time that when it happened, it was just a shame. So we're trying to pick that magic back up. Mm -hmm. And she's wearing horns. She so it's wearing. already pretty magical right now as it is. I mean, she come is. on. She is wearing it. So let's talk a little bit before we continue on with the knockouts. And once some more of the knockouts come on, we'll get back into that a little bit. Let's talk about your birthday. How was it? I was working, Steve. Okay. But you didn't, you didn't work for like seven days straight where you had no time. You had to have celebrated in some form or fashion. Uh, for the most part, I, I played video games. Uh, and I was able to to take a walk or two, um, just to get away. Any from... any of those walks on that bridge? Uh, quite a few actually. Okay. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know what he's talking about, <laughs> that would be on my profile. I guess I can put back up here, <laughs> uh, just so everyone knows. Continuity. That's all. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. We're I just trimming that. the branches, is what we're doing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just it was. It was relax. Well, it was relaxing to me, but it was just a lot of stuff that I needed to clear my mind of. Did you get any gifts? Well, I want one right now. And what does it say? 
Uh, sometimes it's worth the penalty. So this is a roller derby, and who who betrothed you with this fine uh, jersey? That's amazing. Yeah, this is uh, this was given to me by uh, Ace. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of shirts, a lot of bands, and other things. Did you get any headphones? No headphones. I normally get those around Christmas time. I got you. Well, how'd you, did you, how'd your dad celebrate for you? Uh, by working with me. Okay, that's good. <laughs> how about your mom? Uh, my mom, uh, <laughs> um, she was very, very ridiculous in the way that she does stuff. Like, I don't even know how to explain. Well, because at least from everyone that has met my mom has, has told me that, uh, and I, I quote this, is that my mom is a whole ass adventure because of the way that she <laughs> handles things. Um, so what, what my mom ended up doing was she she saw me. I was like, hey, Ma, how are you doing? She's like, what are you doing here? I was like, you right. <laughs> Just kind of sat there. She said, oh, come on in here. I got your cake. I was like, all right, cool. So you got cake. I got cake. You got cake, you got shirts, you got bands. But we had to stare at each other for about three minutes before she let me in the door. She just, <laughs> just I was like, oh, I don't know how long we're going to do this. Because the last time I went there, she put me to work. I didn't, I was expecting to go to work last time, like this time. But that's what happened. I ended up doing the garden. She she walked me in. Mm -hmm. She walked me right all the, like, all the way through and then went right to the backyard, started pulling up weeds. I was like, oh. Fine. What a good son. Yeah, well, it is what it is. And joining us uh, at this point, as Rihanna yeah, talking about his birthday, is the one, the only, one half of the Twisted Sisters. It is Marley Quinn. Hello, Marley. Okay. Hey, how you doing? She's there. Oh, well, she's there. Just, just give it a minute. We'll, we'll give it a minute. It'll, it'll catch up. Um. So now we have multiple knockouts. Now, Euro, are you and Marley on separate teams or are you on the same team? For this one, we are on separate teams. Oh. Um, yeah. I'm on brute force and she's on fatal attraction. Mm -hmm. So you said earlier, and we can play that back later, that you were going to make them stains on the floor. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I mean, to be fair to Marley, she's gonna be a very pretty stain on the floor. Very pretty, beautiful, beautiful woman. Look at her. Whatever you do to her, she always looked pretty. And she bounced back because she's pretty tough. Also fair. Sorry, Maya. Can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know why my internet's not working. We were just talking about, you know, when Euro was talking a little earlier about the bout coming up this Saturday. She was talking about how her team was going to make stains of the opposing team on the floor. And I'm like, well, I mean, are you and Marley on the same team? And she's like, no. So that there's a whole conflict of interest right now. Yeah. I mean, she can make stains all she wants. It's not going to hurt us. You know, we can stay in the floor and still get up and, and fight you back. So I ain't worried about it. <laughs> not wrong. We'll, we'll make her think she can win. It's cool. <laughs> So it's it's the first bout uh since the le since the last one the the eighteen and over show. Are you excited yeah, so to be back? This it one will have Steve. This one will have less pubes. Less pubes. Yes. Notice that. Yes, she did. Were there pubes that I missed? There were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was the the you drag. Did, you did this. You it, did it was this. the drag queen. I was I was Steve, caught. No. Up. Steve, no. Put, no. 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 Let me put it this way. Okay. She's not here to defend herself right now, but who cares? Um, <laughs> after less bout, everyone know that uh, Crimson is not a natural redhead. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> um, <laughs> like the carpet doesn't match the drapes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's right. Well. Secrets out. 
I don't I don't know where you want to go from here, Steve. I That's might need a point. moment. Okay, let's let, let's <laughs> let's let's circle this, back. This is normalcy for me. I I'm fine. I was like, you just got to figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it <laughs> out. Figure it out. Uh, yeah, there were lots of game changing moments at the 18 over show. I missed the the drapes situation and the and the rug and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Did not did not see that. Did not need to see it. So, <laughs> <laughs> moving right along. Um, <laughs> I have so many stories. Oh, well, that's that's what we're here for, stories. Tell a story if you've got one. Do you want me to actually speak? Yeah, if you have a pubic hair story, I mean, I'm all in. You know what? You know what? I had, you know, we were talking about comb combing balls, combing Max's no, balls no, 10 I minutes know, ago. I know. I heard all of that. So, I'm, I'm. you know, I'll do it this way. I'll I'll talk to, to Max on this because he, <laughs> yeah, you keep eating. You keep eating, Max. It's okay. So, I'm going to give you a story that happened. This is practice, Okay. You just let me know when you're ready, and then go from there. All right? Now, they, right. everyone else is just listening, so they don't know quite what's about to get said. And hopefully, I don't get punched in the face in the process. So I'm not going to punch you. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll I, I'll pretend happens. I don't know you on Saturday, but I won't punch well, you. It, we'll see what happens. So um, I'm going to tell you this right now. This is just from my own personal experience of being at these practices with these knockouts, uh, which... I'm just going to put it out there. They are amazing athletes, like just flat all of them. Just there's stuff that they can do on skates. There's wrestlers that can't just use their own feet. <laughs> like, <laughs> like some of the stuff they're able to do is, is amazing. We're talking to you, Russ. Um, but I also feel like I've been there long enough to the point where they have gotten too comfortable with me. <laughs> mm. And they forget that happens. That, um, I am indeed a male, a heterosexual yeah. male. Black. So there are instances that happen. Uh, and I, I'm going to explain this one particular practice to you as far as you're you're going to be me and what I saw. I'm going to describe this to you, okay? So okay. I am, because they, what they do is in the beginning, they have a circle that they pretty much like do as far as attendance and uh, just as far as the confidence building and getting things ready just to keep the, the motivation up. Um, mm hmm one of the what <laughs> one of the the the, the skaters um which i have not thought of a nickname yet for but i'm just going to say that uh it is a mother daughter duo so you can get an understanding mm -hmm. of what, what's taking place okay so um so the daughter uh is preparing to skate but can't skate because they have to do medical field stuff so they can't do the actual like skating so to speak okay um okay. But, but just okay something else i have to mention there is a this is they're preparing for an 18 over about there are a bunch of newer skaters that are going to be involved and it's in the middle of pride month Keep all of that in mind for what I'm going to say, okay? Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. So uh, a lot of the, the the skaters that are, like, in this practice are either wearing what they're going to wear to say bout or they're wearing what potentially they were going to wear for said bout. And okay. the daughter is wearing what she would have worn if this other person was going to do the – uh. The medical stuff um someone mentions in the middle of practice is that titty tank and she's oh yeah and she she just whips them out i am standing there minding my own business and i just have to sit there and act like i didn't just see this meanwhile the mother who is on the stage has now come over. It's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just as shocked as you. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what what's going on. But this is this is the thing that we're we're all here now. We're all here. And at that moment, she's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, it's 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 fine. It's fine. I'll it's I'll I'll be here all day. <laughs> it's totally okay. So as this thing is happening, I just have to just sit there. Now, the reason I bring this up is because everyone started to get more comfortable and forgetting that I was there. I'm not going to go into too much detail as far as stuff that was happening in said bow, but it's not even it's not even about as a practice. But I, this is an instance where I'm just like, 
I have to sit there and just just deal to the point where I actually went to to Crimson and said, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. It's like what? I was like, I was doing my best to not be a creep. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you all put me in position that I had that, that there was no like I was like I'm sorry. She said, No, we know you're not a creep. I was like, okay, I just want to make sure that you understand. It's good that somebody vouched for you. So I wanna I wanna interject here and let you know, Rian, in that situation and in general, the fact that you're saying that you know you are putting in the, getting put in the situation, that just proves that we're comfortable and trust you. So that's not a bad thing. I haven't even gotten to the end of the story <laughs> yet. <laughs> so so crimson who was who who as i'm having this conversation we're giggling about it and she's like oh yeah i gotta show you my gift now she is showing me what she is going to to wear at the bout and what came with it and i believe maybe gold may oh god this. he may are not, you talking about I what i think know. you're talking about so so yes. <laughs> So oh, she Jesus. pulls out this. She she pulls out two two items, uh, both of them being dildos. Big, um, the large. First one, the first one. Uh, I didn't know it was a dildo. I thought it was a hat. That's Very how big it is. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure that you understand. <laughs> what? In the, in the, Though in some the, tried, but see, it looked like it looked like a wizard's hat. <laughs> It looked like one of the hats that you would see in Dungeons and Dragons, at least the way that it's made. It's really pointy. It's about three feet tall. So I'm like, oh shit, you're about to wear this hat. So, so but then so it would take like a small hole and make it bigger. Is what you keep yeah. that in mind. So that's fucked so up. The Jesus other, you're the getting other, the idea of what it's supposed to be. <laughs> the the other the other gift uh she showed me was an actual deal though. Uh, it's like, look, look, at what I have this thing. So she, <laughs> um, but it has like a, a a suction cup to it. So now she's just sticking on on top of things. And I just remember it being on the wall, and I'm like, how, how do we get here? How how do we? What's happening? Go went by it. Was like, okay. And then just passed on like he didn't just see this thing. I was like, I don't even understand how we how we got here. I'm going to work. I just left at that point. I'm like, going to work. I can't. I can't right now. Thank you for not making me feel weird in this this instant. But thank you. Thank that's you. just another day at the office, and it just exactly. means that you're the good one. That's that's one yeah. day. That's one day. You're talking titty tape and dildos. What's the difference between that and a, and a wrestling locker room? Politics. <laughs> That's fair. That's He's fair. not wrong. He's not That's wrong. Fair. Not That's wrong fair. at all. Oh yeah. I'll I'll just shut the fuck up. You know, us enhancement talent types have a lot of opinions about set politics. But that's another whole show. That's another whole thing. Oh. Okay. And you know what the funny part is? Uh those dildos came into play at the after party in, you know, you usually have axe throwing, but you had dildo throwing at the after party. And uh, uh, when's the next, when's the next bout? Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. When's the one after that? 28th of September. <laughs> they have an after party too? They all do. They they're all, they're do. all after. Uh, my birth they all my have birthday's it. on the 19th. That works out. Um, I'll make, Rian, remind me of that, please. I, I got you, man. <laughs> It'll be a good one. It'll be I, the first uh, playoff, so can't you'll wait. be in for a treat. <laughs> can't wait to see Max Holiday at Roller Derby. That'll be amazing. Uh, I'm Max, you have, Max, you have never come to Derby before? No. no. Busy doing actual wrestling stuff. See, I, I am... I just kind of float amongst the people, whereas he is he is the people. He's a, he's a legitimate superstar, a phenomenon unto himself. Oh yeah, that was that was not a question like with judgment attached, just you know, straight up question. Oh, I know, but I have to make sure that he knows how great he is. Yeah, we got to feed his ego just a little bit. He won't come back if we don't. Don't walk around with the title "world's greatest." There's no ego here to fill. That's Rian good. just has invited Rian has invited me time and time again, and I've always been busy. So I'll just say no you know, maybe I'll make some make some exceptions. 
I will say that you're going to want to make an attempt to get there on October 19th. Hey, it's a that scared the shit out of me. I was like, where'd she come from? Whatever you like, Cactus, you made it. I did. Did you not recognize me by the name? I I did not. It's (laughs) Anya. Is that a thing? That's my name for the bout this weekend. Oh my god, that's that's not that's tricky to say on commentary. I'm thinking without being canceled. Probably. Thank God, Nan Slaughter's my commentary partner this time. I'll let her do all the heavy lifting. I'll just smile a lot. Focus. I'm focused. I'm focused. Hello, uh, yeah. Queen. Um, what team are you on? I'm just curious. I think it's pretty obvious. Think she's on. <laughs> Queen, yeah. Queen Titania, Queen of the Fairies. Oh, so you are on Fatal Attraction. You're on Marley right. Quinn's team. Yes. Of course she is. Now, Obviously, I told this to Marley when she came in, just because I like to stir the pot a little bit. But just a few minutes ago, Euro was talking about staining the track with her opposition. Oh yeah, she got she got a she got a spear, I think, and she got horns. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, she's we gonna have wait. to get through all this uh, front padding that I've got. That's for sure. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. Look at this. I'm gonna let you in on something. Okay. When it comes okay. to that, when it comes to that kind of battle, you always win, darling. You know, I'm gonna, I'm going to see that victory to you, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'll well, take it from the closest thing I know to a supermodel. That's true. She's not wrong. Please, please, no, <laughs> don't feed my ego. It's already full. <laughs> full of dragon blood. There's a lot of dragon blood happening tonight. Uh, Queen. Take us through uh, what you expect. This you can just call me tits, Stephen. It's fine. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Tits can continue. Please continue. Thank you, Rian. All right, what 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 did you want, Stephen? Give me your take on what's happening this Saturday. Uh, my take is that. Um, well, first of all, I'm not thrilled with the wheels and warriors. Thing. There's no acknowledgement of the Fey at all in the title or on the shirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is true. You know, that is I true. thought the shirt, yeah. When I looked at the shirt, I thought the same thing. I was like, they're both warriors. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I I feel yeah. I feel like uh the powers that be may be trying to influence influence okay. things a little bit. Don't worry, we'll we'll show them. You know but that. wait, excuse me, aren't you the one supposed to have the powers in your little wands? You wave them around and then, you know, things happen? She's not talking to you. Yeah, I don't need a wand to make things happen. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You're going to see so, exactly what wait, I can make happen wait, on Saturday. Wait, excuse me, excuse me, you don't need a wand, you just need a, a magical cape. <laughs> A magical cape? Is that what you said? I said magical cave. A magical C-A-B-E. cave. <laughs> oh, how, how are you holding up over there, Turtle? I am taking it all in. I may the have caves to go are to dark, church, Turtle. The caves are dark. But I as I church, was saying, church is around the corner. I may have to go over there in a minute. It's on him. As I was saying, right, what I sorry. will say is that confidence is quiet and insecurities are loud, aren't they, Euro mm-hmm. Smash? Very much so. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I'm just loud because I'm fucking good at it. That's your. That's your. Well, I guess you got to be good at something, huh? Point oh, made. Oh, Point oh, made. It's getting, it's getting heated. <laughs> Euro's by herself. It's like a double team. It's like a, it's like a two on one match. She'll be fine. She'll be okay. <laughs> I like those odds, Steve. I always like those odds. Never tell Euro the odds. <laughs> Never tell her the odds. I can't count that high. All I need to count is one, two, maybe sometimes seven. If you watch the beginning, you know what that means. <laughs> I'll have to catch up tomorrow. So no, you will. You are a very good student. All I know is we're drinking um, whiskey Saturday night, but that's a, that's a, you know, I don't <laughs> a lot, so. Be careful what you wish for, Steve. I'm going to beat you in the arm wrestling, too. I'm not, oh, I'm not taking I any know. prisoners. I don't know. Huh? Well, There's see, I did tell you my secret, so instead of a headbutt, I may have to do something else. 
you're not expecting. Okay, maybe I'm rethinking this situation. That might <laughs> be a bad idea. I don't want to take a shot at the throne. Uh, my question is for Marley. This being a little bit different styled bout than the one before and the typical uh, season league stuff. Do you like these themed events more than the league stuff? Or are you partial to the crushers uh, and the haunters and such? Uh, do you like better? Do you like them equally for different reasons? What are your takes on the, the varied styles of roller derby? Marley. Oh, I didn't know he said me. I, my thing totally froze. Oh, I heard yeah, that. Yeah, Marley. Marley. Okay. I'm going to oh, re Sorry. Did, did, you hear did, me? Did, did you hear the question? Hear Marley? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're the last two bouts have been, uh, very, uh, extravagantly themed the yes. 18 and over right. and now the dungeons and dragons. And then we have the conventional league style bouts with the, the oh, crushers right. and, and punishers, et cetera. Which do you prefer, or do you find things that you love about both? Do you like one better than the other? What are your thoughts on the differences? Uh, that's, hmm, that's a tough question. I, I enjoy the rec league bouts because we get to just have fun, relax. Don't have to really worry about anything. No pressure kind of thing. Uh, but obviously I love skating, you know, crushers. I also love skating with punishers. Um, September's going to suck, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I, I think there's benefits to both. I, like I said, it's, it's calmer, more fun environment when we do the rec league bouts, but when we do the, you know, actual playoffs and when we do the actual, um, off season bouts, it's always fun to get to skate with the same people and, and kind of get your vibe going and, uh, you know, build that, you know, stuff that you've already accomplished, essentially. It's a solid answer right there. That was very well done. Uh, Euro, same question to you. Mm -hmm. I, I agree a lot with what Marley said. I think there's a very different feel. Um, I think the uh, summer rec league games, like the themed games, are like kind of a palate cleanser. They're like a very good morale building tool. They're an opportunity for newer skaters to get more of the spotlight under less pressure. Um, you know, the thing about our league that's unique is that we, oh, I'm going to ruin my whole like heel vibe here, but I'm, I'm going to get kind of earnest. Um, we, we really do like love each other. Okay. And like, Whereas in other leagues, you're in the set team and you're in the same team all the time. And there can be like extreme tension and like hatred between teams, right? What Marley is saying about the September bout, we, we have this thing we can, you mind if I explain team Blurple? Go um, so, so, so we have team Blurple because, you know, Punishers are purple, Crushers are blue. And we have a lot of players between those two teams that kind of go back and forth because we have similar vibes, right? And we really like and respect each other. Um, so then to have to, like, face each other in the playoffs is this whole emotional thing, you know? It's just like, oh, no, I have to turn against my sister, what I do, you know? But um, we know that, like, the other thing though is that respect and love for each other is going to carry through in that game. And like we're we're all going to play our best game and no one's gonna get shitty with each other, you know. I mean, there might be a few fights, whatever, you know, people need to be brought back in line. But otherwise, you know, it's it's really weird, you know. We get this none of this shit works without trust. We have to trust each other. Um, I mean, like you rest wrestlers know this shit, right? You like you're not going to go in the ring and do these crazy fucking back-breaking moves with someone unless you trust them. So trust is the foundation of everything, right? Um, so we have to trust each other, but we also have to play against each other. So you see how that, and you know this, I think that's why there's lots of overlap between derby and wrestling, you know? Without question, without question. Uh, Goat, I'm at, before I send it to... Uh the queen for her answer to this question. Uh, do you find it easier to officiate and do your goat things when it's the summer uh, theatrical stuff or the regular league premiere bouts? 
still on mute. No, you're not. I can't hear him. Coach, we can't hear you, buddy. Try it again. Try oh, it again. sorry. There we Give go. Um, that's a great question. I would say the maybe well, the theatrical ones are a little bit easier to ref only because I think I'm not positive about this, but I think the scoring isn't as high as the regular season because regular season they're just focused on you know points 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 rec league we're focused on more than points right we're focused on it's i mean it's rec league so it's meant to be more fun more we're trying out a lot of new things that we haven't been able to necessarily execute say perfectly so because they can be a little more adventurous before because it's more like fun it's still competitive but it's the emphasis is more on entertainment and then trying things that may eventually, once they perfect them, will end up in the regular season. So I think the scoring is a little bit easier to do in rec league, but because of the shenaniganery, then that gets harder to be like, well, is this supposed to be a penalty? Because if, if they whip a, out a fucking sword and start smacking each other, like shenaniganery, yeah. you mean high speed yes. fuckery? High speed fuckery, right? Or buffoonery. High speed fuckery. Pardon me. Yes, exactly. That's See, right. High Thank speed you, fuckery queen. is of of a different sort, and then it becomes. You know, is do we? Is, how am I supposed to call this? Is it, is this actually? There's not even a penalty in the book for what just happened over here. And there's there's you know we're constantly expanding the rule set to be like, all right, well if somebody whips out, if somebody sticks something like it's in this bout, if, I'm not sure this is going to happen because I don't know what they're going to do. But this something like this happened before. Was say they take a prop and they just trip somebody, like somebody from the, uh, somebody on the bench just takes something and tosses it and just trips one of the players, and it's like. Well, what the hey wait a minute what what do you you know and then of course i'm just going to be like i mean we don't need a rec league to do that right? pardon so we don't need a rec league bout to do that i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure marley has tripped a few people at her time well there you go but you know the rec <laughs> league is sort of the instigator for this and then it's just like well now what so you know it's sort of a trade off but i would say the the because of the speed of the regular bouts they've gotten so i mean steve you may have known i apologize steve you came in in 2022 is that right yes yeah so you you've seen the progression like how much faster they are um even in from 20 from fall of 2022 to fall of 2023 and then again especially at the beginning of this year in february like you've seen how the intensity has just ramped up so much which has made scoring like very difficult sometimes just because of just, you know, how close the action is. So, so I wish I could give you a more straightforward answer, but that's probably the best I can do. No, that, that's a fantastic answer. And you're right. From when I came in to where they're at now, it's like a completely different thing because it's so violent and so fast and so engaging. And the stories are so impressive. Uh, you know, that's why I, I love to do it because there are so many stories happening simultaneously to comment on and tell, uh, you know, every time the, the, you know, you get like Marley and Crimson lining up uh, to, to do a jam, you know, you can feel the tension. You can feel that, that something is about to, it's mm -hmm. a point of critical mass. And, you know, the more familiar I get with, with everybody, I, I see how the roles work. I see how the stories are told. I see the ones that are crazy violent that just go out there trying to kill people. I see the ones that are are doing their job the best they can. Uh, it, it's just, it, it's so interesting and so intricate. You know, when you're looking from afar, it you know, you see everybody skating around in a circle, but it's so intricate and stories woven into it. It's fascinating to me. It's absolutely fascinating. And I love it. I mean, there's nothing I would rather commentate about because it's so it's so cool to watch everything. And you know, you, you have a very short time. It, it's two halves that go by like lightning. It's a running clock. So you have a very finite amount of time to wrap the package. And always by the end, something goes haywire or chaotic. And But the story ends and it, it seems to end right. And it's just, it, it's fascinating to get from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. I'm engaged and I'm enamored by it every, every time I'm there. It's thrilling to me. And speaking of thrilling, let's welcome Ricky Ricochet. Hello, Ricky. Hey, Steve. Sorry, I'm late. 
No, it's okay. We're glad you're here because now we can actually start the show because my plan to start this show was to start with you because when disaster struck last week, you were about to reveal your predictions. So people have been messaging me saying, what were the predictions? I'm like, I don't fucking know what they were. Everything stopped for me too. And I was in frantic mode trying to fix things. So now you're here. We're glad you're back. You're amongst friends. Uh, let us commence with your predictions. Thank Reacting you. So attention. These are about you. I'm paying way more attention than you realize. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, my dog's going to chime in a little bit too. That's okay. We like dogs here too. Oh, hi, Scout. Please, please hold. She's throwing a fit. Somebody, oh, yay. Somebody's outside and she's taking it very personally. These things happen. I take so, it personal when people are outside. Last my house week too. when we froze, Ricky was about to dazzle us. I had no idea that you were a a a soothsayer, a, a predictor, a psychic, a predictor of future events. So I am invest. Yeah. I've been invested for a week. I Thank can't you. Wait. It's it's relatively new, but it it's something that comes to me from the ghost world. And I will have you know that every prediction that I've made thus far on people's birthdays has come true. <gasps> There was it one is. for me because it's one week after. Well, no, no, I, I it down. on your oh, that's right. timeline stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. right. This yeah. is this is last Tuesday happening last Tuesday, and now after tonight, when we close this, mm -hmm. it becomes this Tuesday. Did you say it on the internet? Uh, right? And these these occurred last Tuesday, and I wrote them down. It's just we wanted to save them for this yeah. evening. Ladies All and right. gentlemen, the prognostications of one Ricky Ricochet. The floor Thank is yours, you. young lady. Rian, this is this is going to be a great year ahead. I'm so excited for you. Um, I am a little jealous. It's not going to be without trials and tribulations like every year. But there are three key things that will happen to you this year. Um, and congratulations. Um, first of all, wrestling. I see some big W's in there for you some some a lot of fan love a lot of a lot of attention for rian a lot of action there so first and foremost that's gonna that's gonna you know just just set the pace for you this year and i'm here for it i'm here for it very exciting especially rogue wrestling we're all gonna be there we're gonna be a blast how are you feeling about that um, i feel great yeah I know that you know that that's going to happen and it's not because of my predictions. It's because of the work that you've put in and the time that you've put out there um, and the talented person that you are. So I know that you know that, but the spirits have confirmed it. Um, Rian, Rian is also because of those boots. Oh my God, those boots. These, those gold shoes. That's, we, fair. that's fair. That's a main character in itself. You're not wrong. <laughs> um, this is something that I didn't see coming for you and I can't wait for you to tell me about it because I don't have all the details but an old family member mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting either a family member or a friend that felt like a family member is going to reconnect with you somebody that you may have drifted apart from somebody that you haven't spoken with in a long time you're going to reconnect and you're going to reestablish a relationship this year that's going to be uh, lifelong again for you. The irony of that, based on what the panel is here, you, you'd be surprised. But okay, I'll, I will, I will take that. I hope it's not Antoine. Would it be? <laughs> no one knows who Antoine is other than the, the rest of you. <laughs> but I, I don't know what that that means for you. But you've got a year to see how that plays out. Okay. I'll touch base. We'll touch base in August um, 2025. I'm See what happens. I have a perfect track record. Um, okay. I need you to know that. Okay. Okay. All right. And <laughs> finally, Rian, this is this is an exciting one. Oh my God. I'm verklempt. Buckle up. <laughs> There's going to be a new love in your life. It may not be forever. Mm -hmm. It may be a short relationship. 
but it'll be a very valuable one and you'll learn a lot from it and in, enjoy meeting this person. So that's great. I'm happy for you. Agreed. Um, so three really good things ahead. <clears throat> 2024, 2025, year of Rion. And internet don't lie. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm definitely going to check back on this. All right. Like, Let's touch base. Like you. <laughs> In one year. One year. I'm. <laughs> I'm. I'm pretty good about keeping track with it. I'm gonna set my alarm. You. You okay. should. You should. I am going to check back with you directly. Put that so in my calendar. I want to know. I, I got we're, you. We're having the same. We're having the same people back. In 24, I'm booking it right now. We're booking yeah. the show. The re prediction, prediction recap. Yeah, the aftermath. Ricky's. This is this doesn't come from me, Rian. This comes from the spirits. The spirits are them. Okay. This I'm comes from one specific light in the rafters at the auditorium. It's the green one. That's You'll know it. And if you look at it directly, you can't. You can try. Can't Anyone? even photograph it. Can't photograph it because it's a Caucasian spirit. <laughs> it's it's tiny races are right funny. there. Tiny. It's funny because it's tiny. It it's really tiny. is. Yeah. Uh, that's but, so that was privileged. Cat. Funny. You'll hear it only if you pay attention in home with a little. I can do that. I, yep. I can do that. But I am. I'm going to to take all of this. And uh, and say thank you, thank you. Uh, simply because I know that you didn't have to do that, and the fact that you not only thought about it but wrote it down, saved it, and said, "I'll wait till the next time we do this." Thank you. Of I course. <laughs> thank you for being born. <laughs> That's amazing. I'll, I'll thank my parents. I guess. <laughs> like to thank the academy. <laughs> hey, Dad! Thanks for slapping them cheeks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. Appreciate it. <laughs> and bad. there we go. I can't get that one out of the head. All right. Yeah, you did this thing. I didn't do this. You did this. I, this. I just wanted to hear Ricky's prediction. I felt bad that shit went bad last week. So that was fun. beautiful. That might be the most beautiful thing we've had on this show. That is that oh, is yeah. touching. It is. Oh. Thank now, you. Now we have to do the power hour next year. I was I was done at the end of this year. Now we got to at least do it through August. You know what's funny? Uh oh, don't. I know I don't, but I want to now because I want to. I want to have that big prediction show, the prediction See, reveal. I, I can tell you from experience, you can do one off from time to time and just be like, "Hey, y'all," and then pop, pop you're back. right. I could, but you, you know, can do that, and it's totally fine. I, I'm looking for inspiration in any place I can find it. That inspired me to want to do it until we get to go do this again. That's cool. That's inspiring. Are you going to have 52 weeks of content to get to that? Point? I'll figure it out one way or the other. All right. I know people. I can get people on here. Okay. We're doing a fantasy football show next week. We all know people. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> hey, come that on actually, now. Come on now. We, gotta, we, we do these things for you. You got to do some things for us. I don't know shit about football. Oh, <laughs> God. We're going to put you to the test. Steve, phrasing. Phrasing. Please. <laughs> And actually, hey Steve, you um correct uh, correction. You said December of twenty five, you would be done. Well, that's with that's Not with wrestling. No, you said Power Hour. It's just it's it's on. You told me how you would do it's it. It's on the internet. You told me how you would out. Do it. I, I'm old. Like, the, 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 the finite time, man. You only get a few. Steven, I'm just Steven. I'm just saying you have to go through it you? now. Uh, older than Steve? time. How old are you, Steve? I, I'm I, in the wizard years. I'm 638. I okay. think. Steven is like 54. He's the same That's age as my brother. Very anticlimactic. Hey, not much older than me, my friends. Yeah, yeah, not much you older. Wear than me, much better than I do. That's for sure. Hey, it's girl. called expensive moisturizer. It's because she's a supermodel. No, let's keep, it's let's, expensive let's keep the goat around the applause. He had to leave. Goodbye, Here's goat. The hottest person. I I what moisturizer do you use? Well, it's funny you should ask, Queen. I'm oh working God. on my own skincare line. Oh that God. I'm uh, going to start oh. to market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know when we're in beta. Oh, oh sounds good. I thought that was going to go somewhere else. Oh, oh me too. Very Ooh. happy that it did. There's no, there's no telling. 
There's no telling. I like, mean, I, let me tell you, there's nothing like a mask made from the blood of your enemies. Okay, it makes our skin so that. so Fair. dewy, so dewy. You got nothing, right? Yeah, I, I, I literally have nothing. Yeah, I'm not talking about those kind of facials, boy. I okay. wasn't talking about it either. Yeah, no, okay. I was. Yeah, no, it's totally talking about the bloodbath. I don't know what those that, guys were thinking. That that, that shuffled <laughs> off. I have bathed in the blood quickly, of my enemy very quickly indeed. All right, let's 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 try to let's let's straighten out the train. Let's 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 get right back on. <laughs> You're let's not get it right back in the tunnel, Steve. Come on, <laughs> let's go, little engine that could. Right Let's back in the tunnel. tunnel. Okay. Choo -choo. Suddenly feeling very exposed. Like <laughs> we, we, listen, we have to talk about this dragon blood. You are not, you will, you should not be on this show while you're on the, the blood. That, it's, it's, it's just Steve, ask any question. Ask any question. Any question right now. I, never I would like some, I would like some dragon's blood. Well, Come out to the dirty. You'll have the, the dragon's blood, Max. <laughs> That's the Punisher's team drink, okay? Let me just say. It's a very secret proprietary recipe. Yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely certain that that's you know, true. I'll ask a question. How are you doing, Turtle? I am. I'm having a ball here. I'm enjoying it. I am right. taking yeah. it all in. Of course she's having a ball. Taking it all in, huh? That's the, uh -huh. you know, you you right you right just take taking it taking it. Max, how are you? How are you doing? It's, oh it's, my God, I'm, Rian. It's a check. We're just checking in people. Checking on no, people. No, no, I, I let me let Max answer the question. How are you doing? I, I am having a wonderful time, Rian. That's, that's what this is good. That's good. I got I got to check on you. Make sure everything is okay. I already know how 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 the Derby people are. I already know how they feel. But I, I'm asking you two specifically. Oh no, I'm good. Time. I'm good. I'm I'm appreciating the um uh, the conversation. Okay. All right. Just making sure. All right. All right. Steve, you got a question or you're right? I do. Uh, for Ricky, uh, you were uh, injured recently. Uh, are you going to be participating this Saturday uh, at the uh, the bout? Unfortunately, I will not be. Oh, Saturday. no. Sorry. Are it's... you going to be taking pictures? Uh, not Not this Saturday. No, oh. she's going to be with her other girlfriend. You know, I thought that's why I asked the question because I saw some very, well, not controversial. I was like, oh, she can't possibly be going somewhere else on about Saturday. But hey, we all have other commitments. I know. Talk to me about what this is. What what are what are you going to do this Saturday? This Saturday, I will be involved in another roller derby bout in the northwest suburbs called Coach Light. Nice. Um, where it is. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing playing that team. But um, I officially Ricky, 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 come on! Like you can you can say the names. Come on, <laughs> it's say her fun. name. Say it's her fun. name so we know who that bitch is. A uh, Chicago style roller derby. Um, I participate in another league, but I actually won't be returning. He skates around, you guys. She I skate, skate around, around a little. Skate around, but uh, I I officially returned to contact oh. after this this. Uh, about so looking forward to getting back into it how are you Yay! feeling yeah I'm I'm feeling good thanks yeah it's been um it's been like quite a journey of PT but it's been good it's been really good um found I was really privileged to find um somebody that could that could um demo some stuff and do some isolated muscle movements quickly so nice. it's been a fast track really fortunate well, we've missed you, and we'll welcome you back when you do return. That'll be a good day for us all. We got to have our favorite ghost. Thanks. It's right, Rian. All right. I'm <laughs> I got this. I got this. I'm still thinking about the predictions because I want to. Know, I want to know who your love interest is. I that's going to be that's what them. you got out. Of that's you. what I got out of it. That's what you got it out of all is. that is taking place. I, I would be so happy for you. Focus. I'm focused. Uh, I was really expecting there to be something about possibly getting thrown again. Thrown? I mean, these predictions can encompass everything that's going to happen. That that's that could, true. That's true. High possibility. I'm die this Saturday. Can you can you yeah. believe that Marley threw Rion? We've seen the picture. Allegedly, I can allegedly. And and boss, both of them collectively. That's the twisted sister. I, I know because I bad was news, there. man. Those two bad news. You yeah, were, I believe it. They're 
I still stand that it was wrong time, wrong place, you know, totally accidental. Got to keep your, you got to keep your nose clean when the Twisted Sisters are around. Yeah, Rian, don't walk up in there wearing that outfit, okay? You come up in there all tarted up. What do you think going to happen? You're going to get thrown, bitch. Hold on, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got wait. that tight, listen, listen here. You got that tight, revealing t-shirt, you know, those tight <laughs> jeans, you know, those tight little Daisy Dukes. Here's what's going to happen. You walk up like that. You that was quite a mental image. Thrown. That was wow. quite a mental image. Oh my god! <laughs> are we talking about the same? Are you sure we're not talking about goat? Because I feel like we're talking about yeah. Goat. I feel like we're not talking about the same person. <laughs> you never okay, told me this. Look at Rihanna in goat's dress. Goat has a dress. It's a mesh dress, and it says "fuck you" all over it. Yes, it does. It's true. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. He's a leader in fashion. Yes, he is. Yes. Fashionista, that guy. Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> wow. Rihanna and Daisy Dukes. I may never sleep again. You did. Yeah, y'all got that all over that. your mind now. I, was, I didn't do that. That that wasn't me. That was her. I just with I the just, horns. I just want to know how how am I tarted up? I don't understand. <laughs> look, I I I'm older than I look, so some some of these. These terminologies from all you young folk, I have to check to see. No, turn it up is a term my mother has been using, and I know you're not older than my mother. I don't know what it means either. Okay, I, oh I, I, I it down. Did you go to Catholic school? What the hell? Can I find this <laughs> on Urban Dictionary? We, that's that's what I thought we were speaking of. I just had to make sure we were all the same. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> I have no follow for that. Try. Try. <laughs> Try. Let's see what you got. All right. Me. All right. All right. <laughs> no, I have no follow. Steve, for Steve, you can just say no means no. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I guess I could say that. Good. I guess I could indeed. Um, For the roller derby people in this room, the family you have is something that's, I, I think that's the, the home. Hey, the last question. What? I didn't even get to answer the last question. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rian's got me all rattled here. He's got me all tarted up. That's that's what I do. I fucking. It's off. because Steve is thinking of Rian and DZ too. I am. And that would be in focus. I'm I'm the problem. All right. It's at Dukes of Hell. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, uh, Queen. Answer the question. Queen what? Tits. My queen. The the queen, the queen. Queen what? Of the show. The queen of the power hour. Queen, queen. what? Uh, the queen. Queen what? Breast assist. Just say tits, Steve. No, that, that's, 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 I, I should Tits! I should just Wait, say it. <laughs> Damn I it, say it, Steve, so we can get on with it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because I got some good advice at the, the 18 and over show. Uh, one of the skaters got in the penalty box, and I was asking about the egregious penalty, and she was shirtless at the time. And she oh, looked at I me. I have a story. And she a looked story. at me and I said, went. they're just tits, Steve. So, Queen Tits, what do you got? Ah, uh, I know exactly who that was. I wish um, I had gotten that advice 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I have a story. I'll wait. I will wait till this is over with. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I want to hear it. Uh, when it comes to the rec league or the actual league itself, um, I don't think it surprises anyone that I'm an extremely competitive person, right. both both fake and real life, very competitive. Um, so I personally love the competitiveness and the competition of the actual Premier League. Like the the Rec League stuff is is fun. I haven't gotten to partic participate in it too much. Um, last time I couldn't because of the first stage of my surgery. And then I think previous ones I couldn't, uh, because of other issues with my back. But, uh, so this is, I think my first rec league, um, and it's, it's fun, but it's not quite the same feeling for me. You know what I mean? Like all, all the talk about like drinking the blood of your enemies and stuff. That's, that's my day to day going into these, these bouts <laughs> every single month. Uh, you will you will find, and uh, Marley can attest to this. I don't lose very often. My teams don't lose very often. 
this is this is my bread and butter right here. I I like to skate. I like to fight. I like to do it together. It will always be the competitiveness of the Premier League for me. He does it well. Thank you. Look at me for I didn't say it. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? From she me? she gave us that great explanation of her feelings, and mm -hmm. it worked out great. Each, each I find it. Uh, that each of them had a different take on it. And now that Ricky's here, what, let's get her take on it too. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't know how how if she's participated in the rec league, but we've got the rec league and we've got the the premier bouts, the 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 league. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a preference? I mean, if if you've done it before, do you have a preference? Do you like the competitive nature of the 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 league, or do you like the recreational and the theatrical stuff? I guess I'm really I'm really grateful that we have an opportunity to do both. It's nice to have the environment, especially for new skaters, where there's a little bit less pressure and you can jump into um, kind of what feels like a little bit of a mixer. We're doing things um, like a little bit more extravagant costumes for the crowd. There's a there's a theme that's easy to buy into and it's fun for the crowd to like get involved in and participate if they want to dress up as well. I think that that's a blast for a lot of people, but you know, um, I'm grateful that we have the opportunity to do that, but also um, to do our home teams of um, the tried and true, um, like heart of this team, Premier League, which is, you know, home, I think, for a lot of us. Um, and it is a little bit more competitive. And there are, there is a ranking system and we are we are vying for that that championship cup. So I'm I'm really grateful. And, you know, whenever we're on those those home teams, I think that there's a real sense of camaraderie that's built. I know Marley and, and Euro have both put on a lot of effort to team building and, and the character of their team. And um, they've worked so hard in um, participating and fostering for new skaters and existing skaters alone, a culture in each specific home team for the Premier League. So I think it's hard to, I think something about me feels very nostalgic about that, um, that our four, our four, um, four teams are, are very much, I keep saying it, but they're home. So it's it's nice that we've got the opportunity to kind of like let our hair down and uh you know do some do some silly stuff and um have a little bit more fun in that rec league and you know maybe introduce some new skaters to the league but um it's going to be home team for me for sure. I find it it's it's really cool that each of you had your own take on it and they were there, there were some similarities but there were some obvious differences and I think that is why this is such a good family. And and that's what it is. You guys are, are like family. And I've watched it as someone that's come into it of late. And I watched the, the skate arounds and I, I watched the, you getting ready for these bouts. And I, I watched the after party and I, you know, it, it's closeness, even though when you're in competition, the closeness between you is, is something that you just don't see. I mean, in wrestling, it's there in a very, not as close. It's there to a certain extent, but not like you guys have it. And I, I can explain and I, it if necessary. Well, I'll, 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 go ahead and explain it then, because I, I think it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's one of those things where I wish that wrestlers followed suit. Like, and I and I mean that like as as a whole, because just watching things play out, uh, it's very rare to have. Uh, and I and I'll use the locker room aspect of it. Uh, not just a a sense of respect, but a sense of support. Because there's a lot of people, especially in the wrestling world now, that go with the idea of supporting one another and being a part of, of a team while actively taking said team down in order to be better according. And it's it's masked in the idea of hey we should all be doing this but oh wait this person's doing something bad you should go and check that out real quick but I didn't say it whereas with with roller derby at least from what I've seen just from how they handle practice just from how they've handled injuries just how they handle a discord just a chat in that like it's just the way that like everyone is it's collectively even if they have all these different viewpoints uh they all have the same mindset of, okay, we're we're one. Even if they're not at that time, 
they all understand like what the goal is when it comes to the roller derby itself. Uh, so it's its own separate entity. I guess the best way to explain it for, for people that don't quite understand it is if, if you look at something as far as like Walking Dead, as far as the concept of we are Negan, as far as we are one, like it's, it's I know that sounds very like weird in the, in the concept, but everyone has this, like I'll use Ricochet as a point, like the fact that she's a ghost, she's working with the knockouts, but also going to different spots. And there's a bunch of other knockouts that do the same, but it's still a collective unit. Like they all will meet up and and do other things outside of it. And it's, it's not egotistical. Because that's one thing that I've said repeatedly when it comes to, to just not just wrestling, but with life in general take ego and pride out of it and you can navigate a lot of stuff wrestlers can't do that because it's built off of ego and pride whereas the knockouts even when it starts to rear its ugly head they chop that shit off before it starts <laughs> so it's 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 a different vibe there and it's 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 awesome to see like there's there's a lot of wrestlers now that should follow suit for how they handle things as far as the team aspect. Really appreciate that. That's amazing. Well done. Um, glad I could help. I'm glad you could help too. Uh, before we we got into this, you said you had another story. Oh, that's not for here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean i I have a story. I have a story. If you want me to to give you one, but you know what? Because we were talking about wrestling before. I can talk about said story if you like. You just let me know if I need to pull the trigger on it. But I'm going to have to talk to Max again. I'm just letting you know. I'm going to have to talk to Max. I mean, what do we think, panel? Do we want to hear Rion's story? Okay. Yes. Hey, the, Max. The, 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 the democracy in action. Hey, hey, hey Max. So, so I'm going to tell you. This is wrestling related, but it's it's derby related as well. So everyone can, can, can you know, chime in. Uh, if you... For anyone that's curious, because I'm I'm curious as far as the real time aspect of things, because normally it's just you and I having this conversation and we have to wait to see what happens afterwards. But because we're on this call, we'll see why this plays out. So um <laughs> Yeah, we're 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 here now, dude. We're here now. So <laughs> um I was at Feast of the Gold Queen. Okay. <clears throat> Now, the best way to explain Feast of the Goat Queen for you would be, you know how we would do uh, uh, summer festivals? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, picture that. Um, okay. But in a much more contained environment. Um, inside or outside? Outside. Uh, partially inside. Okay. At a brewery. Okay. A brewery. Uh, rabbit brewery to be exact. Uh, this I believe was their fifth year or so. I found out it was five. Okay. Um, so and it's grown every time. Um, I agreed to work feast. Okay, I was like, I'm one hundred percent okay. Whatever you guys need me to do. And originally they had me set up for security, but then Rogue Entertainment started it, and they needed referees. Rogue Entertainment is a is, is a wrestling organization that's being ran by some of the people that that run uh rabbit okay um okay i wanted to do literally anything but the wrestling side because you already know how i feel about the wrestling. i was like i'll do because the, there were wizards walking around there 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 were people in body paint like there, there was, was there a golf there were goats there were go there were actual i wanted to pay pet, pet baby goats like there was a bunch of stuff that I was I really wanted to like it's just, it's fucking awesome. And then all this stuff is happening. I was like, no, I have to go be a a, a referee. And I'm like, it's fine. I'll go ahead and do this thing. So I put my boots on. <laughs> my boots that I just got back from Ray. I am 100 percent just I'm just gonna do the thing. I don't need to do anything else. I just need to count to three, five, and ten. That's all I have to do. Nothing more, nothing less. And part of this panel, when I get up there, starts yelling out, 
Rion's boots. Rion's boots. <laughs> Rion's boots. I look over. I said, not now. We can't do this. I am professional here. I am trying to sure can oh, in a wrestling environment because they only know Derby Rion. They don't know <laughs> Roderick. They don't know Hill Rion. They don't know these <laughs> other versions of me. They only know yeah. Derby me. So I have to sit there with my dumbass face and be like, it's fine. It's totally fine. And then I had to not only deal with this, but then I had to watch a, a handsome rogue who may or may not be a cult leader get shot with blanks from a gun that I had to not see <laughs> from a space cowboy. I'll wait. Max is ready. What are you waiting for? Ooh, okay. This is for Max. This is for Max. You got anything? You want me to continue? That was, that was, was that the finish? Or did he kick out? Well, see, I had to check his pulse first. So I'm just, yeah. I, I know, I, I'm, this has happened. It's on the internet. So I had to check yeah. it. It's on the internet? On the internet. It's on the internet. You can look it up. Wait, someone being shot? In a wrestling matches on the internet, it happens more often than but you it was, think. But it was in it was what? where? No, I want to see this one. I'll send it where? To you. Send it to me. Did you sell it? I I didn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. But that I'm just so I'm giving you the vibe of the of the show. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not. I'm asking questions. Okay. All right. So I am 100 percent okay with anything that's happening right now. So they decide people that being shot. Not, well, I don't. I don't You're know. Okay. I've said okay. the same thing on Friday. So here's here's the thing, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. you see me at wrestling shows. I am, especially when I do referee stuff. I don't give a shit what the That's, fair. With That's this. fair. I will do whatever is asked of me, regardless of how I feel. I will do the thing three, five, and ten, and continue on. With that being said. There was a match that I had to do that had two females in. One represented fire, the other one represented ice. <laughs> I remember the story. And I had to to either be burned or frozen. is this a picture of someone being shot? I, I'll send. I'll send them. I'll send it to you. I'll send oh it to you. No, oh, no, no, oh, that's the pulse. That's me checking. Out oh, the yeah, you checking the pulse after you? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So just making sure. Okay. Thank, thank you, Rick Shea. Thank you. So Ricky with the save. She took a lot of photos, so she she already knows what what's being talked about. So after this whole thing took place with this match, me being frozen in middle of match and being yeah. in the same match, uh, I'm thinking that my day is done, and it is not, because I have to go back out there with ice, but no fire. Meaning, based on the rules of how this is played out, whatever happens with ice, I have to be frozen in time. Okay? Just like last week's episode. I love that you keep chiming in on this and you wonder why I have my viewpoints accordingly, but that's a whole other conversation in itself. So as we are continuously walking and talking, ice comes over to me. I'm trying to get away from ice. It is a triple threat match. There are three people involved. Um, the the handsome robe, Ice, and uh, the, oh, the 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 Bear King. I believe it's the Bear King. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to keep up. Okay, there's... Okay, she just put up Ice. Okay, so I... I just, okay, trying to keep track of stuff. So... Me too. All right. I get frozen outside the ring. There are two referees. I get frozen over by the the knockout side inadvertently. Okay. Okay. One of the <laughs> one of the the couples has a child that <laughs> every time I see them tries to throw me dad jokes oh, every boy. single time. And I would combat said dad jokes with other dad jokes so I wouldn't have to pay. Because whenever I run out of dad jokes, I would have to pay out. I had to pay up. 
But on this day, I was like, not my $2. So I kept going back and forth. And then when I couldn't remember anything, I ran away. So she couldn't catch me. So everything was fine. Okay. But then I get stuck in this corner. I get frozen. And this, <laughs> I'm just going to say it. This punk ass kid ran up on me while I'm Fucking minding kids. my own business being frozen. She dude, she had fuckboy energy, dog. She walked up on me like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> <Gotcha>, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna listen to these jokes. And I couldn't do anything. I had to sit mm -hmm. there and deal with that. And she just rapid firing on. I'm like, how do we get there? Where's your parents? What the fuck is going on? How do we get here? <laughs> Referee is trying to hug me, but he doesn't understand physics because he can't do it because he's not <laughs> So I had to sit there and deal with me listening to these jokes while looking at a fence because I clearly can't look at the ring because I'm frozen and I have to just deal with all this. Meanwhile, everyone on that side is dying. They don't know what to do with themselves. It's like, ha ha, you got to deal with it. And I had to pay up. But I can't pay up right away because I'm frozen. So I, at that point, when I thawed out, when I finally thawed out, I walked away. I was like, I'm not, I don't even know what's happening in this match. I'm gone. I'm out. I don't, I don't know. I don't know anymore. And I left. And I grabbed my wallet and I paid her two dollars. Because that's that's what that's what I have to deal with. See, oh, and there's the boots. There's the boots. The gold so, dust boots? Yeah, man. It it happens. It happens. But it's and what I've been wondering about those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my buddy Jake, rest his soul. But that's a whole nother that's thing. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. those are those are said boots. That's okay. why they they came back to me, and I, I will wear them. Fair enough. This is peak. You're right. You're one hundred percent right. You have no idea the significance of those boots. I will talk to you about those later, but okay. I will. Oh. I will end said story with the idea that the difference between the wrestling side as opposed to the derby side is that the wrestling side would have gotten mad at me for telling said story. Whereas... Depends on where you're telling it. My point exactly. Whereas the derby side understands the ridiculousness of said story. Because not everybody can say this type of thing because I just ruined a bunch of things accordingly while actually just telling the truth. And I know yeah, really depends on like, where you're at. But yeah, because there's other stuff I left out accordingly. But based on... So you're not on, telling the whole truth? Huh? So you're not telling the whole truth? I mean, if you want me to tell you the whole truth, I can, but not on here. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've all been roasted by lethally blonde at least once at least at she, least once she is no, diabolical that's it, it cost me 10 bucks at nwa 10 dollars. she got Di 10 dimes and i guarantee if you see her you better you better be ready better have singles too because she just she doesn't make change dude they she came to me one time and i was prepared i knew i was prepared and she 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 looked at my dumb ass face. It was like, so. <laughs> Takes no prisoners. She said, I lost 20% of my couch today. Ouch. <laughs> That's just funny. But can I, can that I, what made me laugh. What made me laugh was in the background, I hear her, her father. <laughs> and then <laughs> one song. I'm like, oh. ridiculous. So speaking of her father and roasting, let me tell you this one real quick. So <laughs> Judgment Dave is like waking up, Lethal runs into the bedroom, slaps him on the stomach without any further ado and says, Dad, here's where your six pack would go if your mom. <laughs> she was the first thing she said to me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ferocious man. Yeah. Oh, man. yes that child is gonna be on stand-up that's that's what's that's gonna oh. happen boy tough she's tough tough and she gets her money too 
Tough. All right. Very now, tough. Now I've got. I guess, I, I guess I'm glad I've never uh, run into that problem. <laughs> no, she loves you, Marla. She never goes. I was gonna say she's never, never once. Oh. Must be <laughs> no. nice. Yeah. Must be nice. Yeah, you can. You can uh, take but on that note, no, I, uh, I do have to go. I do gotta get out. Get going. Thank you for so. thank you for sitting through this yet again, Marley. Thank you for having me. <laughs> we look forward thank to you. seeing you uh, this Saturday at the Homewood yeah. Auditorium. Uh, it's always so. good well, to see you swinging your shoulder. I'll be I'll be on the team that's winning. <laughs> that's fair. That's we'll fair. see about that. Love you, yeah, that's Rose. accurate because I'm on that team. Y'all can wave yeah, your little fair. wands around all you want. We'll When's see. the last time I lost? Hmm. Damn. <laughs> Saturday. Should be an answer. There should Saturday. be an answer to this. Yeah. I don't I haven't played against you in years, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Marley, thank you so much for taking time out for Rian's birthday <laughs> and to hype up the, Happy the birthday again, up. man. See you Saturday. Yay. Applause for Marley. All right. So here we are as we're gonna kind of close this show out. We're getting ready to end. Uh this is how I wanted to end the show uh, last week. Uh, I'm going to give everybody in the room a chance to say some nice things to Rion, kind of like taking the place of Sea Red's flowers. You know, obviously, Rion plays a part in all of our lives in a certain extent. So at, at this point, let's start with Turtle, since he has been let off the hook too many times tonight. Give give <laughs> Rion a birthday wish. Um. Well, I'll be saying the same things as I said last week. Uh, Rian, you are the best. You are my friend. You are my brother. Um, I will always love you. And I appreciate everything you've done for me in the last few years, even though I can be an ass sometimes. So thanks for sticking with me and keep uh, throwing the ball to me. Okay. Thank you. That was as nice as Celine Dion lyrics. That was amazing. I'm going to wait it out, Steve. I'm gonna wait it You're going to wait it out? Okay. Wait it out. Uh, let us go to uh, Max Holiday, a man of uh, great... I thought that was a Whitney Houston depth. reference. Say it again. I thought it was a Whitney Houston reference. Whitney Houston, Celine Dion. You say tomato, I say grapes. No, there's a huge difference. Is there? <laughs> It's like saying Max Holiday and Rian Field. There's a huge difference. Maybe one in the same, but there's a huge difference. But but in Rian's theme song, the blood inside of me is inside of you. Now tell yeah. me. World's greatest. World's it? greatest. I felt it. Wait. No. Yep. I said it. It feels right. With it. it feels right. Feels, sometimes. Really depends. Uh, what can be said uh, that really ha well, it hasn't been said because I'm number two, so I guess I get to say it all. Uh, Rian. Um, man. So many years. I remember when, uh, when Rian showed up. Getting in the crowd. Wanting to be a pro wrestler. Look at where you're at now. Letting other kids be pro wrestlers. Mm -hmm. You've come a long way. It's been a journey. And I'm sure one day we'll read about it in a book that you write. Maybe uh, maybe a couple books, actually, now that I think about it. You have a lot of stories. Um, there's been a lot of hills. There's been a lot of valleys. And we've done the thing. And we've done it several different times. That thing, man. That that thing. You know that thing. Mm -hmm. The thing we're here for. Yep, the thing. And uh, can't really couldn't have done it. I mean, without you. So, Rian, uh, world's greatest man of many hats, with great shoes, boots. All I can say, man, my friend is. Thank you for being a friend. Good call back. Good call back. Traveling down the road and back again. Because mm -hmm. my heart is true. You're a friend and a confidant. 
Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Let's uh. Let's move on to uh. Well, let's go with Euro. Euro. Okay, Rian. So, you know, I'm gonna be serious here for a minute. Um, <clears throat> and I said this in closing circle the other day in practice. I to teach someone something, you know, it's okay. Like you might know a move, you might know something very well inside your bones, in and out, but oh, phrasing. Anyway, so but to be a good teacher, you have to be able to break it down for other people in the way that they can pick it up right and i think when we're working on the moves you're so good at that um that at the players were picking it up right away and and that's that's because of you you know you're giving your time you're not getting paid for the shit you know i mean maybe you see a titty here and there but you know you get you're not getting paid um and, you know, we just really appreciate you. And I appreciate your humor. Your humor is amazing. You have this, like, super dry, uh, drawn-out humor. Like, do you know who Hannibal, Hannibal Burris is? Yeah. You totally remind me of him sometimes in the way you give this dry delivery. Um, you know, and I just appreciate you. I like being around you. I think you're funny. I think you're great. I think you can really take a shot, you know? And you can look at a titty without being a creep. So good for you. Great. That's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. One of the, You're welcome. One of the many differences between us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> saw that coming, actually. Saw that coming. Uh, Goat of Menendez, are you still there, sir? He's gone. Is he gone? You told he been gone. The center. That's he me. Been, he oh, been that's gone. you. Okay. You were the one that said he was gone. I did say he was gone. Okay. What are the rules? There are no rules. <laughs> the rules are there. Okay, so we'll 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 talk about we'll talk to goat next time. Uh let's go to Ricky Rickshay. Thanks. Well, I first of all just want to say thanks, Rion, for being like really kind and generous Ooh. to our league. Um uh Euro's way more eloquent, but Really appreciate all you've done for our league and, and the relationships that you've cultivated with people here. I'm really grateful for that partnership and um, I'm looking forward to seeing how that grows this year because it's it's been a lot of fun and and I think um, really successful so far. But I think that that just goes back to your kindness and your generosity in teaching and, and kind of sculpting some things out um, with our league. Um, I appreciate you in that aspect. I know I haven't known you as long as um, some of these gentlemen, but uh, really um, grateful to to get to know you and to have you in our league uh, as a big part of our league. Um, and I, I must say it again, I've got to repeat it. Great taste in shoes. Great taste in shoes. <laughs> and that is, is a, that makes you a national treasure. <laughs> a national treasure. Happy birthday. That might be the name of this episode. Rion, the national treasure. That's fantastic. That's All right. Uh, Queen. Uh, well, to be completely blunt, there are very few people who can experience the, the absolute blunt force experience that is me when I am unhinged, like Rion. Like, he has to tell me often that he's got big shoulders. And that's why he can carry the effects of dealing with someone as, and I'm going to get a little heavy here, as mentally ill as I am. And so on a real note, I appreciate the shit out of you, Rian. And on another note, I appreciate you because you never tell me no when I come up with unhinged things to do. I mean, she's gonna do it anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's fair. You don't even try to stop me. You're just like, go ahead. That's yeah, fair. Right. You even hype me up yeah. a little bit. You figure it out. That's it. That's, that's fine. Well, that was lovely. I I appreciated all of this because it's it's so cool to hear. You know, last week we were talking about what comes first to our mind, and you know, some people you know had the headphones, some people had other things, but everybody's the common denominator is you know what your friendship means and i think that's that that's that that sums you up to a t 
You're a friend for all seasons. You're a friend to all people. And that's not easy. There aren't many people in the world like that. The world is better with you. So thank you. Before we shut this down, as we go through the rest of the knockout season, because we have the, the recreational bout this Saturday, I want to hear from the knockouts that are remaining. Who is going home? Who are your predictions now is going home with the golden skate? Uh, let us start with Euro. Euro, what team is going to take the title? Well, perhaps you have heard the slogan of Punk Rock Punishers. I believe it is Papa Rain! And who reigns but royalty? Who wins? I think it's us. All right, that's one vote for Purple Rain. And we go to the the sweet yet spooky specter that is Ricky Ricochet. We, we know it's going to be the horrific haunters. There's 2023 champions. We're going to do it again. Running it back. Just like last year. I know we're the underdogs. We start we start slow. We end high. It's the haunters. We rise up from the grave just in time. Can't do anything about it. That's one vote for Punk Rock Punishers, Purple Rain. One vote for the horrific haunters. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Queen, what's your vote? Uh, I'm going to give you two votes because this would have been Marley's vote too. The comic book crushers. And let me fucking tell you why. Oh shit. Unfucking defeated. Unfucking defeated. In the first two, if not three seasons, that includes the very first ever knockout season back in 2018. Unfucking defeated. The only fucking season the only fucking reason the haunters won last year is because my stupid ass fucking back went out and i couldn't skate for six goddamn months yeah. so be on your fucking toes because i'm back <laughs> i don't have to pee all the time anymore either well Sometimes people pay extra for that. Yes, they do. <laughs> Regrettably, well, that I is paid sixty thousand dollars not to, or my insurance did. <laughs> not, not I don't know. People. It's turned into an, it's turned into an OnlyFans situation. I don't know if you've ever been around us before, Stephen, but doesn't it always? Hey, like listen, a, that space no. for the big track not going to buy itself. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's okay. So That's enhancement talent. I'm just happy to be here. Um, I want to thank everybody for not only participating last week, but for coming back and participating this week. I want to thank Max Holiday. Two weeks in a row, we even interrupted your dinner. You're, you're a true friend and we appreciate you. Turtle, you're a man of few words, but we appreciate you coming back and reprising your role uh, in this universe. Uh, Euro Thrash, you're, you're, you're worth your weight in gold. Every time you come on here, it's... Uh, it's a complete clusterfuck in epic proportions and the best possible ways. Uh, Ricky Ricochet, you are one of the most charismatic human beings I've ever encountered on this planet. I appreciate everything you did tonight, and I appreciate you uh, as, as a derby person. So thank you for being here. And uh, uh, Queen, you know how I feel about you. We need to. You've all uh, you've all gone way Sweet. above and beyond. I mean, tell me more now. So so your name. Uh, queen no, no tell me tell me how you feel about me everyone else got nice words where are mine uh there would be no power hour without you that's it <laughs> go on go on go you got more in the chamber steve you i am uh, the chamber I'm, i know you do i'm old and i'm tired there's no more same more worst stop I, I I think I, I I am out of stuff. What Steve, do you have any stuff? Say, what Steve meant to say? I, this is what I meant to say. That, was that not only are you one one of the most loving and caring people and very emotionally driven, but you are very supportive in the way that you handle not just roller derby but just life as a whole. Even with everything that has taken place with 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 you from from a mental and a physical standpoint, you are still pushing forward and we appreciate that of you this is what steve would have said if he had just remembered all of the words if he wrote it down and had a plan he would have had this <laughs> but he, he didn't he just he just said the thing well he technically just said it today just now because those aren't my words those are steve's steve's words thank he, you rian and steve should thank rian as well 
thank you for everything you do for me and for us. And uh, God, retirement looks fantastic right about now. Who you telling? I'm telling. Who you telling? You um, talking shit. Anyways, Rian, we love you. Happy birthday. Rian, two birthdays. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you all. All right. Thank you for watching the Power Hour tonight. Part two of Rian's birthday, Adventures in Knockout Land. And uh, we talked about a lot of things, uh, Bush notwithstanding. Uh, that's next, what you got on? That, well, that was one of the things we talked about. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, next week on this show, we got fantasy football. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Thanks to the knockout. Saturday, Homewood Auditorium. It is going to be uh, a Dungeons and Dragons uh, mystical crazy night. I mean, just look at those fucking horns. Putting it back up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Horns like that, costumes like that, that's what's going to happen, and someone's going to die. So, is it, I, I, is it I, safe I, to say, hey, Steve, is it safe to say that today's episode was not sponsored by Manscaped? Uh, yes, that is that is very clearly so. Uh, you know, like Fair. I said, uh, I don't even think they make more anymore. Hey, I'm not, if you can see that, I'm passing that down to you. There you, there you take that. There, thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> That there is the flyer for the big show. Uh, it's going to be special. Somebody's going to die. You know, there's a lot of death and and craziness happening. You get somebody gets shot at Rogue. They didn't die. I checked the pulse. I was very clear on that. The the picture was up there earlier. I just checked the pulse. Last Friday night, our general manager. There was an assassination. Wait, attempt. wait, wait. Are we talking about wrestling right now? We, we're talking about wrestling. You sure you don't want to get rid of the other people in order for you to start talking about wrestling? No, we're gonna. We'll pick it up next week. Are you sure? One hundred percent. All right. I'm just making sure we're on the same. All right. Okay. Go we're ahead. on the same page, ladies. Thank you so much. You're a blessing to us all. Thanks, fellas. Thanks, everybody. We will see you next week uh, as the Power Hour continues to uh, play forward. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. We got my money. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> It's still recording. Bro. I'm still recording because I want to. Keep figuring out what the button is. If I, it well, it's all changed now. Steve, if I, you can't find the button again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no pressure, Steve. No pressure. Just keep, just keep grinding. This time it'll shut off when you want to as opposed to. There'll be no money, else. but on your deathbed, <laughs> you'll achieve con consciousness. So there you go. Or compensation. Or compensation. <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I have finally. Found, he the, found button. the button. He found it, y'all. We'll see what happens. Good job, Steve. Button didn't work. It didn't work. He's still going, Steve. God damn it. <laughs>